By the way, uh, the camera does add 50 pounds, just saying. But in the meantime, let's cut to the chase. Most of the budget, no cuts at all. That is, unless you think a cut is slowing the growth of something, because there's very little real cutting of anything. It's true, despite the fear that President Trump was gutting Medicaid. What if I told you he is increasing funding for Medicaid from $389 billion now to more than half a trillion dollars 10 years from now? And that $389 billion, that is triple what we were spending on Medicaid back in 2000. Same with food stamps, a program in which we spent about $17 billion bucks in 2000, more than $71 billion bucks today. War Social Security Disability Insurance, $56 billion back in 2000, 144 billion today. Or let's step back and just look at this whole entire cruel evil budget. At more than four trillion dollars, it is the biggest budget ever submitted by any country ever in the history of Earth, of mankind. Over the next 10 years, it maps out spending of, are you sitting down? Well, of course you are, $55 trillion. You know what it is supposedly cutting? Nothing, nothing at all, because like I said, Cutting is when you take a figure and reduce that to a lesser figure. Now, this budget shaves the increase in spending over that 10 year period by about three and a half trillion dollars, 3.6 trillion to be exact, versus 55 trillion in total spending. So, about three and a half percent, a rounding error on a rounding error, and an increase in spending overall, just 3.6 trillion dollars less in spending. But we didn't look at things that way, did we? Do we? No. We call a budget of more than four trillion dollars heartless, even though. Only 10 years ago, that same budget was $2.8 trillion. Look at it another way. These programs I mentioned have been growing at a nearly 10% clip year in and year out. Nothing stops it. Have you been getting 10% pay increases year in and year out? I didn't think so. You see, that's the problem. This kind of spending is not sustainable. At the rate we are going, we are worth as a country now getting dwarfed by all we owe in this country. That is called financial Armageddon, my friends. We owe more than we have. It's never happened. And we're closer to it than you think. And those who say it won't happen because we can print money are missing the point. Printing money only makes the tough choices harder to make. That's why I think the whole budget should be examined. It's not a matter of taxing too much in this country, but spending too much in this country. After all, Washington takes in more than three and a half trillion dollars in taxes each year goes up every year. Surely we can make due on three and a half trillion dollars every year. But it is considered heartless to look after the folks paying the bills. You know what I think is heartless? Forgetting the fact that they are. But I'll be very calm and composed. Good night. New bike? Yeah, because I got... Allstate. If you total your new bike,